Good morning. So today is a Friday. Another beautiful day out there. Just uh, finishing out my yerba mate right now. So this is pretty much all I have before I go on runs in the morning. Um, and I also have two tablespoons of uh, apple cider vinegar with water every single morning. So yeah, I'm gonna start my mobility and stretch in a few minutes and uh, then I'm gonna go on another 10 mile run today at an easy pace. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I'll catch you guys later. All right, guys. So that was another 10 miles at an easy pace. And uh, that was actually my last run here in Chicago. Um, tomorrow, early in the morning, I'm gonna be heading back to New Jersey. So yeah, absolutely amazing experience here. Amazing workout. And uh, yeah, I just try to enjoy every single second of this last run here. Just uh, try to be present and uh, just be absolutely grateful for this experience that I'm living right now. So right now I'm gonna go rehydrate, shower, and log back into work. So let's go. So just been working for the past couple hours and uh, I'll show you what I'm having for lunch now. I'm gonna have this whole pack of uh, grass-fed ground beef. I'm gonna cook it in uh, some grass-fed butter. I'm gonna have two eggs with some cheese. And then uh, on this side I'll have uh, a banana, blueberries, and uh, some honey. All right guys, so uh, it's been a pretty long day pretty busy at work um, after work I've just been uh, packing up my stuff to uh, make the trip back to New Jersey tomorrow so um, I'm just uh, getting to cook some dinner now so I'll show you guys what I'm having I'm gonna have this whole pack of uh, ground venison I'm gonna cook it in some uh, grass-fed butter I'm gonna have two eggs sweet potatoes, an avocado, uh, some cheese, and then uh, I got some bone broth going here. I'm going to add some of uh, this apple cider vinegar to it with salt. And then uh, on the side, I'm going to have these two yogurts with uh, wild blueberries and a banana. So this is a uh, Kind of a lot of food right here but uh, after this tomorrow I'm just uh, gonna be driving all day pretty much um, it's a ten and a half hour to eleven hour uh, drive back to New Jersey so I'm just gonna be driving straight through um, I'm not really planning on stopping besides uh you know getting gas and going to the restroom and whatnot but um yeah and uh, i'm not gonna be eating again until tomorrow when i get back home so um yeah that's the plan
All right, people. So it's Saturday. Just made it back home. I've been driving all day. It was a um, 12 hour drive back home to New Jersey and uh, definitely happy to be back. I had to stop by the store and uh, grab some food so I'm gonna go and have dinner now. I've just been fasting all day so um, yeah I'm gonna go in now spend some time with the family and uh, eat some dinner so I'll catch you guys tomorrow. What's going on guys? So it's a gorgeous Sunday out there today. Just uh, doing a little bit of a light spin for about 15 minutes to get the legs moving, get the uh, blood flowing. And uh, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, stretching and mobility right after. And then um, there's a 12.5 uh, mile course that I mapped out and uh, that I'm gonna get done today. So yeah, I'm gonna head out there, start running shortly. And uh, so far I've got 45 miles completed for the week. Um, and so yeah, I'm gonna head out there, enjoy the run, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. All right guys, so that was another 12.5 miles. And uh, yeah, so that'll conclude this peak week for the marathon prep. Um, ended up running 57.5 miles for the entire week. So that was a, uh, the most I've run during this uh, marathon prep on a single week so I got two more weeks to get ready um, and uh, I'm just gonna be reducing the volume uh, and continue to rest as much as possible recover and uh, Get, try to get um, to the marathon as fresh as possible so right now I'm just gonna go inside shower hydrate stretch a little bit and uh, I'm gonna show you what my lunch is gonna look like so see you guys in a bit All right guys, so uh, just finished eating lunch a couple of minutes ago. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. I uh, wanna thank you guys so much for tuning in, for uh, following along. Um, if you watched till the end of this video, I really, really appreciate it. I really hope that um, most importantly, you got value out of it. That um, uh, it some somehow in, inspires you, and uh, if you think it can be of value to anybody else, please feel free to share it. And so this week coming up, I'm just uh, gonna continue to train. Probably gonna take the running volume down to maybe 20 to 25 miles for the week 
and uh, probably reduce it even more the week prior to uh, the marathon so my diet is gonna continue to be the same um, just gonna be eating uh, plenty of uh, red meat organs fruit honey and uh, probably when I, as I get closer to running the marathon I'm, I might add uh, a little bit more carbs in the form of uh, probably uh, brown rice or uh, oatmeal but uh, yeah the diet that, I, that I've been following has been um, has been working pretty well for me my body has been able to recover um, I've been able to maintain a, uh, a stable weight uh, between 160 and 165 pounds and uh, I am feeling very very comfortable and and um, yeah I'm, I'm able to finish all these uh, training sessions and um, recover pretty well at this point um, I'm just eating pretty much intuitively I'm not really tracking uh, macros or quantities or anything so yeah that's uh, uh, what I'm gonna be doing as far as diet I also wanted to um, share the uh, learning experience that I had uh, with today's training so so far all of the running that I've been doing during this prep has been in a uh, in a flat surface. So when I was in Chicago, there wasn't really um, much elevation. There weren't any uh, hills. It was all flat. So I've I've been my body um, has become accustomed to running in, in flat surface. But today's workout was by no means flat. <laughs> the course that I ran today was very hilly. Um, and there were all sorts of hills uh, with various um, elevations. And um, it was a pretty eye-opening experience. I realized that I have so much to improve on when it comes to running on hills and uh, an uneven course. I was definitely um, struggling a little bit today when I was uh, going up those hills. I uh, realized the importance of um, just driving my arms and uh, leaning forward and, and um, relaxing my my legs and just try to um, let my arms and the, the drive of my arms do the work when going up the hills. So it was um, definitely a learning experience and uh, I loved it. That's, that's what it's all about. I was also experiencing um, a little bit of um, fatigue in my legs. I, uh, at, at two or three times, I, I felt like I was about to cramp, but um, I just focused on shortening my strides in those moments and just reducing the, the speed a little bit and then just sort of let that fatigue um, fade away. And then as it started to go away, then slowly increase the speed again. But yeah, it was a learning, a, a true, truly learning experience. I got to learn, you know, how to adjust and, um, just let my my body determine um, 
how how hard to to run i'm actually pretty glad that these last two weeks prior to the marathon i'm gonna be here in uh, new jersey able to run on these uh on these hills even though i'm gonna reduce the volume i'm definitely gonna be focusing um, on getting used to running on hills which is more realistic to what the actual marathon course is gonna look like and then as far as uh weight training this week i wasn't able to do any weight training because uh the gym membership that i had already expired and uh i didn't renew it because i was going back to new jersey so i didn't have access to a gym last week or this past week and so all i did was running so in the next two weeks i'm gonna reintroduce um, weight training at least two to three times a week and uh yeah that's what the training is is gonna look like and um, i'm gonna try to get to the marathon as fresh as possible and just uh, try to enjoy the experience as much as possible so once again thank you guys so much for following along this journey i've definitely been enjoying every second of it um, and I'm very very excited about what's uh, what's coming in the next couple of weeks so thank you for tuning in and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one